The endorsement that I made uh, years ago with Biden was one I thought was the best decision for me at that time. And I thought back then, when we talk about, hey, uh, you know, I, I'm in this position uh, where I have some influence and it's my job then. I felt like that then. It's my job now to exercise my influence and share with this, this is who I'm going to endorse. Am I going to do that again this year? That answer is no. Oh, he ain't really saying nothing. In today's easy cancel culture world and cancel culture, woke culture, this culture, that culture, division. Hey, uh, The Rock. Or Rock? Hey, Rocky. Dwayne Johnson, let me holler at you for a second. Um. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> Now, it all started when Dwayne The Rock Johnson sat down for an interview with Will Kane of Fox News and said that he wouldn't be publicly endorsing any political candidate ahead of the 2024 election. Am I happy with the state of America right now? Well, that answer is no. Do I believe we're going to get better? I, I believe in that. I'm an optimistic guy, and I, I believe we can get better. Um, the endorsement that I made... Uh, years ago with Biden was one I thought was the best decision for me at that time. And I thought back then when we talk about, hey, uh, you know, I, I'm in this position uh, where I have some influence and it's my job then. I felt like that then. It's my job now to exercise my influence and share with this, this is who I'm going to endorse. Am I going to do that again this year? That answer is no. That was a nice sleight of hand by Kane, changing the question from do you regret that to the state of the world. That's very Fox Newsy of you, Jabroni. So, so Rock, really what you're saying is, is that you went and you decided to take a stand because it, you, you felt it in your, in your soul that you needed to take a stand and, and the stand caused division. That's, that's crazy. That is that is wild. I mean, when you think about all the stands that people have taken, they never cause division. Like, I can't imagine all of the people that we lift up for taking a stand and there was no division. You know, the Martin Luther Kings, the, the Mandelas, the, the Rosa Parks, the, the, the Harvey Milks, uh, whoever the case may be, the Susan B. Anthony's, whoever, whatever, whoever it is that took a stand and, and there was no division, you know, it, it, there was no division. But, but somehow when you decided to take a stand, there was division. That is, that is just wild. I, I, I can't imagine how painful that must be. And, and I can't imagine uh, how, how you move about life. Like, oh, I heard you took a phone number from that girl. Well, you know, I would have had to take a stand, um, sweetheart, and I didn't want to cause division. It would have caused division if I rejected her phone number. So I, I didn't want to take that stand. And uh, that's not what I'm here to do. Uh, I'm here to unite. And so uh, she and I also came together in the same ways that, that you and I come together. Because I, I bring people together. I, I don't know how this works for you business-wise. I mean, clearly you take a stand when you're making a choice on scripts. Actually, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. Maybe that, that, actually, that actually might explain Black Adam. Now, now, now I totally get it because because you didn't want to take a stand and cause division by throwing that script in the trash can. So you just decided, you know, and I'm going to go ahead and do it and I will unite the people. Now, one thing I will say about this, OK, a lot of this was much ado about nothing because it's not like he came out and said, oh, I decided I'm going to switch. Four years ago, I endorsed Joe Biden, and this time around, I'm going to endorse Donald Trump. It was nothing like that. He just decided he wasn't going to make his endorsement public. And all of the hysteria about this, you know, it kind of reminds me of a Dave Chappelle joke. Stop worshiping celebrities so much. Just don't listen, don't pay attention. I remember right around September 11th, uh, Ja Rule was on MTV. That's what they said. They said, we got Ja Rule on the phone. Let's see what Jaw's thoughts are on this tragedy. Who gives a fuck what Jaw Rule thinks at a time like this, nigga? This is ridiculous. I don't want to dance. I'm scared to death. I want some answers that Jaw Rule might not have right now. 
thing when bad shit happens to me, I'll be in the crib like, oh my God, this is terrible. Could somebody please find Ja Rule, get hold of this motherfucker so I can make sense of all this. Where is Ja? Who do you endorse for this election? It doesn't matter what his name is. Why do we care about who The Rock endorses? Did I know that The Rock had endorsed Joe Biden in 2020? No. I probably saw it at some point. I totally forgot because it wasn't significant. Why do we put so much importance and significance on any of this? I mean, I will say this. It is funny how rarely Trump can actually get a good celebrity endorsement. I never withhold an endorsement because I'm not that smart, Jesse. I'm, in, <laughs> I'm endorsing President Trump 100%. Man, if you told me in 1997 that, that half of Lois and Clark would go out like this, I wouldn't have cared then either. But other than laughing at the state of Trump's celebrity caravan, it's ultimately not important. Like, what would, what would be more important is if, you know, the guy who was, who was your vice president last time you were president didn't endorse you. Oh, that's right. He's not endorsing Trump. Well, surely that would be much bigger news. I mean, especially on the right. Here you have the time that was spent on Mike Pence deciding not to endorse the man he worked under for four years. Four minutes, four minutes on Fox News. That is a minute for every year of service. If he only would have stood up and did the right thing, they would have, they would have gave him five minutes at least. By the way, he also decided to run against him in the Republican primary. I know you forgot that because it was a blink and you're gone moment, but he was in the race. Then when he left the race, still refused to endorse Donald Trump. So you tell me what is more significant, that The Rock is not endorsing anybody, or Mike Pence, your former vice president, will not endorse Donald Trump. You tell me, I, well, I, I, don't, I don't know if, if he's faithful. I mean, his wife said he's unfaithful, his kids said he's unfaithful, but the guy across the street, the neighbor, says he's not really sure. So I can't, I can't really figure out which way to go. I don't know if the schools are good in that neighborhood. Um, I mean, the people that live in that neighborhood said the schools are good, but, but Rowdy Roddy Piper said he's not sure. So could go either way. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know which weight to put on what. What time is the bus coming? Well, the people say the bus coming at 7.30, but Stone Cold Steve Austin said he has no idea. So who can you trust? Who cares what the former vice president won't endorse when you can blow out a wrestler also not endorsing? And this was all over Fox News on the homepage and X had it trending for multiple days. And you know, it kind of reminds me of my body in my 20s. It just accepts nothing but garbage. Like you get to a point where you just run on garbage. You try and feed it something good. You try and feed it some vegetables. You try and feed it some actual legitimate information like Mike Pence. And it just, it doesn't know what to do with it. Like it, it doesn't know what to do with good information. If it's not some random misinformation, if it's not some deflection, if it's not an offensive meme, X and Fox News, it breaks the system. Okay. Those are the things it thrives on. Give me rap snacks or nothing. Oh, what's that? He had more to say? Okay, let's go ahead. And as you and I have talked about, if you ask me a direct question, I'm always gonna give you a direct answer, whatever it is. And that's important to me. And authenticity, we hear that word a lot, uh, but that's important to me. And I feel like, and I mean, we could go down the well here, but there's, in today's easy cancel culture world, and cancel culture, woke culture, this culture, that culture, division, etc. Uh, that really bugs me. Why? Why? Why, Rock? You was doing good. You was doing good, and then you had to go and throw him the cancel culture and the woke culture. I thought we weren't saying nothing. I thought that was the whole point. We weren't saying nothing. You should have knew your role and shut your mouth. Here's my question. What's woke culture? 
Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What is woke culture? Go ahead and answer the question. Not a single person that was watching that on Fox can define woke culture. Uh, how do you define wokeness? Wokeness is the destruction of normalcy and, and, um, how do you define <laughs> <laughs> But I tell you this, they know it when they see it. It's called us. Man, you came a long way from the nation of domination. Ron Simmons would be so ashamed. But you know what? Maybe, maybe you just didn't want to create division. <clears throat> maybe that's it. You didn't want to create division. So you say, you know what? I'm just going to say, I'm just going to toss out the right wing talking points, you know, because I don't want to take a stand. I don't want to create no division. So I'm just going to say what it is that they want me to say that would make their viewers feel good to bring the people together. Was that it? By the way, as for uh, your cancel culture, we have some good news. Is that a Budweiser hat? Like, wasn't it, it was a year ago, right, that you famously posted that video of, uh, I think you were shooting some uh, Bud oh, Light cans um, after the Dylan Mulvaney I, I, controversy. So you've lightened up on Bud Light? This is a cool hat. I don't know. Um, <laughs> man, that is just, man, we got, <clears throat> we got, I didn't know what hat I was wearing. We got bigger targets. I mean, when you look at what, uh, what, who just Planet Fitness? Like, what are they doing? Like, Ben and Jerry's? Uh, I don't want to put any targets on people's back. Target. Like, I talked to the dudes from Bud Light or Anheuser Busch, the CEO, and the people. Like, man, they messed up. It's too bad they just won't say it. Like, hey, we messed up a little bit, you know, whatever. But that's not how they're cut. And um, you know what? I, I got my answer, and uh, <clears throat> I don't want to. I don't want her hurt people's jobs and stuff like that when they don't have any dog in the fight. But um, there's a whole lot more companies we should be going after for sure. Well, apparently, cancel culture is canceled. Hello. Yeah, I had a message for, uh, for Joe Biden. Uh, apparently, you can get a Kid Rock endorsement for the low, low price of a mesh hat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. I, I was just letting you know. Oh, wait, what's that? He could stick the Rudy Pooh up his candy ass.